Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Marco's Hiking. In this episode, I want to talk to you about this. This is the pill bottle alcohol stove. You can find this on Etsy.com. It's a pretty neat little um, innovation for alcohol stoves. It's really quite neat. Uh, in this bottle, which is quite small, you can see my pinky finger for reference. It's, it's very small. In it, there are four of these little um, like stone porous biscuits, right? The pill for the pill bottle alcohol stove. And there's four of these and you don't need four of them. The, it comes with very good instructions. Uh, the cost is uh, just under $40. So you have these four pills and what you do is you just use two at a time. Now I have used this a couple times um, to kind of work out some of the kinks on my end. Um, and I want to tell you about it because I think it's a pretty neat option. Uh, it does come with a titan titanium windscreen, uh, absolutely necessary. Uh, if you don't use it, you probably will not be able to boil your water uh, with one load of denatured alcohol is what I use. Uh, however, yellow heat is comparable to um, denatured alcohol. And then it comes with these little gold colored discs and you put these on the ground. Um, so you put it on the ground and then you put these on top of it once they're loaded up with alcohol. Um, so again, it comes with enough for two different stoves. So that's kind of neat, however, somewhat redundant because if this little pill bottle could be half the size and that would be even cooler yet. Um, but what you do, the instructions are, are very good, um, but I'll walk you through it. You take your two pills, you put them in and you do want to keep them stored in here because otherwise these little biscuits will absor absorb the uh, moisture in the air, uh, which will make them less effective when you want to use them for um, cooking, okay? So you put them in here and then you fill up um, with denatured alcohol and just past the biscuits, okay? I'm calling them biscuits instead of pills. Um, just kind of close it up. It will absorb the alcohol and then you do it again. And there's a larger sheet of instructions that I believe say do it three times. You do not need to do it three times. There's a smaller uh, bit of instructions that you can leave right in here, which I do not anymore because I figured this out. And in there, I think it says do it twice. I actually don't even think you need to do it twice because when I fill it up the second time, they barely absorb anything. And one round of soaking up, does plenty for me for 10 ounces of water. I rarely boil more than 10 ounces of water at one time. Uh, so that is absolutely sufficient, but do it one time. And if you need the full absorb, absorb. She sells seashells by the seashore. Absorption. <laughs> but if you need the full absorption, I would go ahead and do it a second time. And then anything that's not absorbed, you just pour back into your alcohol bottle. Okay, once they're absorbed and you drain everything out of here, you pour it back in to your alcohol bottle. You just take the discs and you dump them onto the gold disc and you just light it with a lighter and you put your pot right on top. It's very, very simple. Again, you definitely do want to use the windscreen that comes with it and how awesome that it came with a titanium windscreen. And I like that it's not too big. They didn't send a really tall one, they sent one that is perfect size for this setup. So make sure you do go ahead and wrap that around uh, your burn as well. You'll get a much more efficient burn time with um, the screen on there as well. And of course, depending on the temperature of your water when you start, how much water you put in is going to vary how long it takes to get your water boiling. For me, as low as eight ounces and as much as 10, I've noticed somewhere between that four and six minutes is when I get it to the boil that I want for either my coffee or my freeze-dried meals. And when you're done, uh, like most alcohol stoves, the handles are hot, so make sure you use something to go ahead and take those off the burner. And um, you can actually just blow the flame out like it's a birthday candle. And it says that in the instructions, blow it out like a birthday candle. And it does work. Put your pills right back in the container and um, put them there for storage. Again, remember, keep that container nice and tight. Um, so those pills are not absorbing water. And to put it all away, what I do is I stack these four pills up 
I wrap the titanium windscreen around the, uh, the biscuits or the pills. It's actually quite easy, just not when I'm trying to do it on camera. And then I take the two, oops, I lost the biscuit. I take the two um, gold discs and I just hold it on the outside. And then you just put it back in. There you go. Um, if I were to compare it against my Graham Weenie alcohol stove, which I use pretty much every single time I go out, summer or winter, I would say the Graham Weenie alcohol stove or even something like a Trangia style alcohol stove uh, requires less steps, kind of less fuss, if you will. However, what you get out of the pill bottle stove, especially over the Graham Weenie, which is a very small alcohol stove, is stability. This setup is actually very stable and very easy to use. You don't have to worry about uh, putting alcohol kind of around the rim of your alcohol stove to help it get primed up. Um, you don't have to worry about measuring your alcohol as much. You don't have to worry about the stability factor. These are quite stable. Um, so I think what's the place for the pill bottle alcohol stove? I would say if you're looking to get into alcohol stoves, if you've never done it before, or perhaps you've had a bad experience with an alcohol stove, I would suggest starting or restarting with this because it is very easy to use. It is quite foolproof and I think you'll like the results. I don't think it's going to replace the Graham Weenie for me, but it is definitely something I would keep in my kit if other people want to use an alcohol stove or if I'm just in the mood to do something different like I am on this trip. Well, thanks for viewing everybody. I hope that this small little tutorial and kind of review on the pill bottle alcohol stove was helpful for you. I do encourage you to check it out and I look forward to seeing you on more videos on Mark Goes Hiking. God bless you all. Have a great rest of the day, week, month, whenever you're watching this. Take care.